Hello, friend. Today I want to bring to you a ray of hope by way of coffee and conversation. What a great way to get a new day started, a fresh cup of hot coffee. Well, today, my friend, I want to bring you a ray of hope that I've titled God's Healing Force. Let's look at the scripture from Luke's Gospel, chapter 9, verse 10 and verse 11. The Bible says, And the apostles, when they returned, told Jesus all that they had done. And the Lord took them and went aside privately into a desert place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. And the people, when they knew it, followed him. And he received them and spake unto them of the kingdom of God and healed them that had need of healing. You know, my friend, we all have wounds inflicted upon us as we move through this journey we call life. When we are wounded and hurt by the words of others or whenever we're ill or sick in our body, we need a healing force to come into our lives and to activate the healing mechanisms of our heart, of our mind, of our body, and of our soul. Well, my friend, you need to understand that God is that healing force. You see, God's love heals every wound if we're willing to bring his love into our heart and into our lives. Now, in trying to find healing for our wounds, we must seek out God in all his many forms. You see, in trying to find our own healing, we must seek out ways to be a healing force for others. Yes, and I, I want to reiterate that and just stress that we've got to reach into the lives of others. Now, we're a very selfish people. And many times we're so busy taking care of self that we never see the needs of others. God doesn't reward selfishness. Uh, God doesn't reward selfish seeking of his healing power at all. In fact, God's healing power flows through us only when we're willing to be a conduit to, or a pipe for his healing power to flow into the lives of others. Many of the mysteries of God's healing and infinite power are found when we sacrifice our heart, when we sacrifice our mind, when we sacrifice our soul, and when we sacrifice our body for the healing of others. Many of the mysteries of God remain hidden and mysterious when our seeking is done only for our own betterment. So the greatest thing that we can do is to reach into the lives of others, trying to bring healing to their hurt and to their illnesses. And then, my friend, not only will God move to heal others, but he'll heal you too. Pray with me. Father, thank you, dear Lord, that we can come into your presence, seeking guidance as to how we might reach into the lives of others. And God, as we reach into the lives of others, we pray that you'll reach into our lives. And God, that you'll make a difference in us so that we, in turn, can continue to make a difference in others. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, my friend, go out into your world today. Hey, make a big difference. Reach into the lives of others. Remember to smile as you go. Let others see the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. Hey, remember that actions always speak louder than words. Your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. Let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Have a great day.